when it comes to a possum and raccoon, uh, you can be sure that if you have a food attractant outside like this trash can, uh, you're going to have problems with those two animals. Uh, your first course of action should be to remove the food attractant, placing the trash can inside if at all possible. And if that's not possible, you want to make sure that you've got a tight-fitting lid that raccoons can't pry open or a, a lid with a heavy weight on top like a cinder block to keep raccoons and possum out of it. When it comes to raccoon and possum, you want to make sure that you're placing the trap in the immediate area where you're having the problem. One of the best baits to use is a can of sardines. Sardines work well because they've got such a strong fishy smell that raccoon and possum can smell them from a long way away and they, in the wild they like to eat a lot of fish. But one thing to keep in mind is that sardines are attractive to a variety of other animals as well, particularly house cats. If you've got house cats in your area that you want to avoid catching, you might want to switch to a more sweet smelling bait, like marshmallows. Uh, marshmallows, especially dipped in, in something sweet like molasses, maple syrup, or honey, is going to be attractive to raccoon and possum, but not attractive to house cats. Another bait that you might want to try that's not attractive to house cats is peanut butter. Peanut butter spread on a cracker, piece of bread, or even on a twig will be attractive to raccoon and possum, but not to house cats. When trapping for raccoon and possum, it's important to remember that raccoons are notorious for stealing the bait out of traps. So when you're baiting a raccoon trap, you want to be sure to secure the can of sardines or whatever bait you're using to the trap with a piece of wire, preferably. You want it actually affixed to the trap so the raccoon has to spend a lot of time inside the trap and you'll improve your odds of catching him. If you decide to release your raccoon, you want to make sure you take it at least five miles away so he doesn't return to the area and continue to be a nuisance. And as you're transporting the raccoon, just remember to keep it away from your body and, and keep your hands away because he can reach through the trap and, and grab you or scratch you. When you release your raccoon, be sure to refer to the owner's manual of your cage trap. Uh, each trap functions slightly differently. Uh, this one we're actually going to roll upside down. The door will fall open and the raccoon will be released. Uh, some folks choose to use a piece of wire to wire the door into the open position to, to release the animal. But again, just be sure to refer to your owner's manual.